You're watching Newswatch, the 5 o'clock show. Why don't you bring us up to speed on what's happening right now with the party program, Vicki? What's happening with the, well, the right students? Well, right now, um, the students this morning uh, went through uh, what life was like as a trauma victim, and uh, they saw the first responders, and now um, we've, they've survived their traumas, and uh, they're seeing what life would be like with a disability. As a result of some kind of some kind of crash collision mishap fall anything um, anything that's a risk-taking behavior uh, that could cause them to be injured you were in the emergency room for how long as a nurse I've been an emergency room nurse for 35 years and what was it that you were seeing that made you want to be part of bringing this message to the young people in this well, community? I've seen lots of devastation to young lives over the years I've worked in many hospitals across uh, uh, Canada actually and I've seen lots of devastation to young lives through risk-taking behaviors are those are there stories that stick out with you? Many stories. Right away? Many stories that stick out with me. Um, I've. Uh, I think the hardest certainly are the teens. Um, a teens' death devastates a fa an entire family and a community, um, and all the communities I've lived in uh, have suffered from many teen deaths. Um, in our community here in, in the Quinney area, we've had had several teens die in my uh, career here as an emergency nurse. Um, mm -hmm. It's never easy to tell a family uh, what's happened, and you remember them all. Um, taking a family to the morgue, I remember every single one. We talked about brain injury and now we can end up having a tremor and having to live with a tremor. So one of the volunteers will, are you right then? Yeah. Okay. You'll give her a tremor like that? Okay. Oh and she's going to try to be, and you give her a tremor, she's trying to drink a glass of water. There you go. What is it here in this, in these precious hours that makes the click, you get feedback from these students. What is it that turns the light bulb on right. about behaviors? I think what, what clicks with the students is that it's in hospital. I think the in hospital thing makes a huge difference. The sights, the sounds, the smells of the hospital becomes very real. Everyone that's spoken to them today from the police, the firemen, the paramedics, the emergency room staff, um, the rehabilitation staff, through everybody that's spoken to them does this for real life. Um, we don't we don't sugarcoat it. We don't make it pretty, and we sh we show them everything, and uh, it becomes very real to them, very very real. When they come in, um, they're always this is a group of girls today. They're always very giggly. By the time they leave, and after they especially they hear our injury survivors speak, they're much more sober. Uh, they're all very appreciative for the lessons they've learned today. We do hand out questionnaires at the end of the program, and they they tell us their feelings, uh, about what they liked, what they didn't like. Um, most of it's just so. Positive. Positive. We've just had a really good response to it. Now, this, uh, this program has been available um, at Trenton Hospital since when? Uh, we started in Trenton in, I think it was February was our first program in, in uh, Trenton. Uh, we started in Belleville um, in October of, of 2011 and we have gone to Bancroft and next week we had to Picton so we're covering all uh, four Quinney health care sites. I have a waiting list this year, which has been great. Um, we've had a waiting list. The school response and their enthusiasm for it is, is tremendous. Okay. When do you hear the most um, silence from this group? Uh, when we have the injury survivors speak. It certainly is the most impressionable uh, part of our day. It's, it has a very lasting effect when they see someone close to their age um, uh, that has been through a devastating trauma and what their life is like. It is, uh, it's a very... Um, uh, sort of eclectic group that I have and it's been a win-win situation. It's really helping them too to talk about their story and feel that I remember Alex when I first talked to him said to me maybe this is what I was meant to do. Mm -hmm. so. well, I know we have much more to to see and learn through the party program. Thank you very much. You're welcome. See as you saw I land in a foam pit usually those are supposed to kind of protect you from getting hurt. Um, that one was kind of less, uh, kind of constructed not so, so great, 